Crisis at the border. President Trump puts an end to family separation weeks after his administration took a hard line on asylum seekers crossing into the United States. The crisis at the border gave way to public outcry as stories poured in about young children being taken from their parents. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Just a short time ago, President Trump signed an executive order to end that separation policy. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is covering this story in detail for you right now. Greg. And Yuki, just the president signed that executive order around 3.30 this afternoon. It immediately ends the policy of separating children from their parents who are detained. But the president made clear it will not end his administration's zero tolerance policy for migrants illegally entering the United States. President Trump signed an executive order Thursday ending family separation for immigrants who cross the U.S. border illegally. We're going to have strong, very strong borders, but we're going to keep the families together. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. Under the Trump administration's recent zero tolerance policy, more than 2,300 children have been separated from their parents since May. Images of children in government-run facilities triggered a firestorm of protests. It is psychological torture what this administration is doing. Let's go. Including one here in Philadelphia Wednesday when the vice president visited the city for a GOP fundraiser. It's awful um, to see and hear these stories of young people who have no protections. The president had repeatedly insisted only Congress can fix the crisis, but in a meeting with congressional Republicans, he announced his reversal. If you're really, really pathetically weak, the country's going to be overrun with millions of people. And if you're strong, then you don't have any heart. That's a tough dilemma. The House is slated to vote on a pair of wider immigration bills Thursday, both of which the president is said to support. This is very good compromise legislation that not only solves the child separation issue at the border, it also solves the border. It solves DACA. It solves a lot of our broken immigration uh, parts. But with the executive order addressing the immediate crisis, there is concern the pressure may be off some lawmakers to pass the immigration reform bill. President Trump is also urging Congress to pass that comprehensive immigration legislation to fix border security. Once again, though, this executive order will not reverse his zero tolerance policy, but it will allow families to remain together during the prosecution and deportation process. Yuki. Greg, thank you. Stay with CBS 3 Eyewitness News for the latest developments from Washington and along the U.S. border. And you can always stay informed with our website, cbsphilly.com.